excited to be here to share all of the LWC enhancements coming your way for Spring 24. The first feature that we're going to talk about is the Workspace API. This API improves how you manage tabs and sub-tabs within your Lightning Console apps. And it's all within the LWC ecosystem. Gone are the days of having to deal with Aura's Lightning Workspace API. Now you get the control you've been asking for with LWC while maintaining that high performance and efficiency. The record picker base component is also now coming your way. This base component allows you to select Salesforce records with ease. It is highly configurable with many options, including filtering and validation. It is also mobile friendly and it will work offline, folks. That's what I love to hear. And our team is working on additional features that are coming your way, including SOSL querying and quick action integration. And then we have the Custom Component Instrumentation API. This API allows you to monitor your events and interactions for your custom LWCs. The way that it works is you log messages using that log function that you import from the Lightning Logger module. And then you analyze those logged messages with event monitoring using our brand new Lightning Logger event file. We've tried to make it very easy for you. OK, let's see some of these new features in action. OK, so here I am in my um, LWC, LWC Recipes console app. And I got to this via the app launcher. And I can see here a few recipes around the Workspace API. So the first thing I can do is I can open a new tab. I can open up a sub tab. And if you are already using this with the Aura Lightning Workspace API, you're already familiar with it. So I'll quickly go through the others. I'm going to interact with this tab specifically. I'm going to change the label. I'm going to give it an icon. I'm going to highlight it. And then you can also close the tab. So if I come down here, I can say close focus tab. And for all of these recipes, you can just click on view source and it'll take you to GitHub, the Lightning Recipes in GitHub, and you can view the source code and you can clone it as your very own. Let's take a look at the Workspace API over here in Code Builder. So the most important thing I want to point out is that I'm importing these Lightning Workspace elements directly from Lightning Platform Workspace API. OK, let's take a look at our second feature. All right, now the record picker component. All right, with this recipe, we have two examples. The first one, I can just type, start typing a name, and it's going to give me back a contact here, Amy Taylor, and then display some information. In the second one, I can actually choose the object to search. So I can switch from account to contact, and then start typing a name again, and it's going to filter and bring back the, the name that I want and just select it. Again, for these, you can view the source and it'll take you to GitHub. But let's take a look at this in Code Builder. So here I am in my HTML file in Code Builder. And the main thing I want to point out is that I'm instantiating this base component and then just setting the properties that I want to use with it. And for both of these features, these were highly recommended or highly requested from our community. And we are so happy to bring these to you in this release. OK, now let's take a look at the mobile for LWC use cases and features that are coming to you for Spring 24. The first one is the mobile test harness. The mobile test harness enables you to debug Lightning Web Components for use in our mobile offline apps. The first feature that we're bringing to you for Spring 24 is briefcase integration. Now you can debug your LWCs while you access your data offline. We also have network tracing, so you can get those deep network level log files, especially if you have LWCs sending data up and down from the server. And we have quick action integration, so you can easily launch LWCs from those quick actions for easy iterative testing. And you can download that today for both iOS simulator and Android emulator. The onboarding Wizard V2 is also now available. 
If you are building landing pages for Salesforce app offline use cases, you can now use our VS Code extension and use the templates there to easily create landing pages for those offline use cases. In addition, we'll help you create LWC quick actions with default LWCs, and then you can modify those LWCs programmatically for your business needs. And for Spring 24, Salesforce app is going to support three of our latest Nimbus plugins. Nimbus plugins allow you to access native device capabilities within your LWCs. So if you're building LWC experiences, you can now add NFC data, document scanning, and biometric access. With NFC, you can read NFC data for hardware, attendee, uh, hardware info and attendee lead info. For OCR document scanning, you can use the camera to look at cards, documents, and photos, grab the text from them, and then add that data to Salesforce. And then for biometric access, you can engage the biometrics when additional verification of device owner is needed. And you can check out the LWC developer's guide for more info. All right, let's take a look at one of these demos in action, the mobile test harness. Okay, here I have the test harness with the new features. The first thing I wanna point out is the briefcase integration. So when I'm debugging my LWCs and I want them to, I wanna know they're gonna work offline, I wanna also download my data offline. And you can see I have my downloaded my accounts here and I can view my accounts offline and my LWCs will actually use that data. I also have quick actions that I've set up to launch some LWCs. So let's go ahead and create a contact. And we'll create contact, so fail, and create. But I can also view my LWCs by going directly to the S object browser and just drilling in through the object and find my LWC here. And so I have another LWC and I'll add a second contact. And the great thing about this test harness is now I can see that all of my contact info is still localized to the device. I can drill in. I can see the raw data that's going up. I can see any kind of record data that's going up as well. Let's go ahead and start the queue. And it stops immediately. Let's see what's going on. Okay, and so if any errors occur, I get to drill in and see the exact error message that are occurring. I can see here that it's redirecting a contact with the last name of fail, so obviously I knew that was gonna happen. And let me go ahead and delete that one. And I can go back and start the queue again. And the second contact uploads successfully. And the last feature I wanna point out is our network tracing. If you want to get those deep network log info, you can just start network tracing, interact with your LWCs, and then stop and view all of the network traffic that is going on. So we're happy to share all of these great LWC and LDC for mobile features coming your way. Back to you, Mel.